A woman in Oregon was shocked when she discovered a letter from a Chinese labor camp in October. That's because it was smuggled out in a box of Halloween decorations she bought from Kmart. It was a cry for help as the writer described the conditions inmates at the Masanjia labor camp are forced to work under. Claims of forced labor in China are not new, and this latest revelation has prompted others to speak out. It's a modern-day version of a message in a bottle. From a Chinese labor camp to the home of a U.S. resident, on Sunday, the Oregon-based Oregonian newspaper reported a letter resident Julie Keith discovered inside a box of Halloween decorations. She bought it from Kmart in October. The box came from China, and according to the letter, it wasn't from a factory. Instead, the decorations were made here at the Masanjia labor camp in Shenyang, Liaoning Province. The letter claims detainees work 15 hours per day and are paid less than two U.S. dollars a month for forced labor. It says thousands are held there and that many are persecuted Falun Gong practitioners. Former detainees at Masanjia have corroborated the claims in the letter. I was sent to Masanjia in 1999 and persecuted there. They produce handmade crafts for exports. Most are plastic and are toxic. I was making Christmas decorations and also knitted sweaters. I had to work from five in the morning to eleven at night. Aside from toilet breaks, we had to sit for the whole day and make those products. There wasn't a day off, and we weren't fed properly. In our case, there was no pay for our work. China's labor re-education system is notorious for rights abuses. The system is used heavily in the communist regime's persecution of the Falun Gong spiritual practice. In 2008, the U.S. State Department estimated up to half of the 200,000 registered detainees in Chinese labor camps were Falun Gong adherents. Whoever wrote the letter discovered in Oregon did not sign it, but they did ask for it to be sent to human rights organizations. It is illegal in the U.S. to import products made by convict labor and forced labor. The Oregonian reports that the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement and Homeland Security investigations are now looking into the claims. Sears Holdings Corporations, which runs Kmart, has also said it is holding its own investigations.